On this very special occasion, you I have enjoyed my time with you uh, here at Heart of Jesus Bible School. Heart of Jesus Bible School, for those of you who are not with the students, we have beautiful times of worship. We receive the word of God from many pastors. And as we were in God's presence, we received the heartbeat of God. When I look at all these students today, I see the heart of Jesus. It's beating inside of them. Nothing can stop that heartbeat. If that heartbeat stops, it should only be because of one thing. We have died. But as long as God gives us breath, as long as there is blood pumping in our hearts, you are carriers of the heartbeat of Jesus. And so I want to congratulate all the students. They are the 12th graduating class of Heart of Jesus School. Heart of Jesus Bible School ko As I prayed about what to share with these students and with you, the topic of evangelism came up in my life. I was looking at the scriptures and I found myself stopping in Acts 8. If you have your Bibles, turn with me to Acts 8. Verses 4 to 8. This is the ministry of Philip. This is the ministry of Philip. Philip is an evangelist. And he goes to a place that no one wants to go to. He doesn't go just to his local city. He goes to Samaria. We are going to read this scripture together. All the students know that we like to stand in honor of God's word. Would you all join the students as well? Brother Anjan will lead us in reading the four verses, verses 4 to 8. Philippine <laughs> The word evangelism means good news. The coming of Jesus was good news. Jesus Christ In Luke chapter 2 verse 10, Luca Duiko Dosma. The angel said to the shepherds, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. So the coming of Jesus is good news. And this Jesus proclaimed the good news. We are students of God's word. So I want you to see the truth in the scriptures. Luke chapter 4, verse 43. Jesus said these words. 
I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to the other towns also because that is why I was sent. मैले परमेश्वर का राज्य को सुसमाचार और उस समान हरों में हमारी सुनाओं ने परसा कि न कि मैं ये सही को निंदी पढ़ाई को हूँ। In Luke chapter eight verse one, Luke आठ को एक माँ, we read a, a statement about Jesus। हमें ले यीशु क्रिस्ट का काम उनको बारे में कई व्याख्या और पढ़ना सकते हों। After this, Jesus traveled about from one town and uh, one town and village to another, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of god despachi waha sahar sahar ra gaun gaun hudo prachar gardai ra parmeshwar ka rajya ko susamachar sunaudai bhraman garna lagnu bhayo one more verse in luke chapter 9 verse 6 ako pani euta padma tapai le khana chahanchu luka 9 ko 6 padma we are told about jesus once again and i feel pani yesu ko bare ma bhaniyeko cha so they set out and went from village to village proclaiming the good news and healing people everywhere तब तीनी हरु बिरा भए र सुसमाचार प्रचार गर्दै र सबैतिर रोगीहरुलाई निको पार्दै गाउँ गाउँ गए सो जीसस प्रोक्लेम द गुड न्यूज यीशु ख्रीष्ट आफैले पनि सुसमाचारको घोषणा गर्नुभयो द फोर गस्पल्स आर गुड न्यूज अनि चार र सुसमाचारका पुस्तकहरु पनि सुसमाचार नै हो म्याथ्यू मार्क लुक एन्ड जोन मध्य मार्कस लुका यौना यीशु समाचारका पुस्तकहरु असल खबर हुन् लिसन टु हाउ मार्क बिगन हिज गस्पल अनि यो कुरा सुन्नुस् कि मार्कसले कसरी आफ्नो यीशु समाचारको प्रारम्भ गरे च्याप्टर 1 वर्स 1 मार्कस 1 को 1 मा द बिगिनिंग अफ द गुड न्यूज अबाउट जीसस द मेसाया द सन अफ गॉड परमेश्वरका पुत्र यीशु ख्रीष्टको यीशु समाचारको आरम्भ The people of God have good news. Parmesan ka mani sa usang aasal khawar aron sa. And we must take this news to all the world. Ani hamil ay yo samasar lai sara samasar puri failaon na parsa. We must take this good news to Nepal. Hamil ay yo samasar lai Nepal na failaon na parsa. We must take this good news to India. Yo su samasar lai hamil ay India ma puri failaon na parsa. We must take this good news to Canada. Ani Canada ma puri yo su samasar lai failaon na parsa. That's where I'm from. Ani Canada ba ni yo ma ay ko sa. We need the good news. Hami lai pani susa masa to khansa sa. In Acts chapter eight, we encountered this man named Philip. Ani prerik ay at hay ma hami le yo Philip pani masa sanga zong ka bir gorda isong. Philip has the heart of Jesus inside of him. Ani Philip sanga si afay dintra Yesu Kristo rida ay hami bhenta sa sa. I want you to not make this mistake. Mai ni to mai ni yo bhul na varu hos mani masa hamsho. This is not Philip the apostle. Yo si prerik Philip hoy na niya dekha yeka bhenti. This is Philip the evangelist. तर इन चाहिँ सुसमाचार प्रचारक फिलिप हुन् अ फिलिप हुन् ही इज वन अफ द डीकन्स दैट आर सेलेक्टेड इन एक्ट्स च्याप्टर 6 अनि प्रेरित छ मा चुनाव भएका डीकनहरु मध्येका एक व्यक्ति फिलिप पनि हुन् ही वाज चोजन अलोंग विथ अदर्स बिकज द होली स्पिरिट वाज अपॉन हिम अ उनीलाई चाहिँ अरु धेरै मानिसहरुबाट चुनियो किनभने सबैलाई थाहा थियो कि पवित्र आत्मा उनी माथि हुनुहुन्थ्यो Evangelism can only be powerful if the Holy Spirit is the source. Susama sahay tiki kira sakti sali una zaba sa zaba strong sa in pabitra atma unsa. So his position was a deacon. Waha ko pot sa deacon ko tiyo. He was supposed to take care of the practical things. Waha le sa pray atma mon bari vitre unen pura arbo baray mo wasta gari arbo parne tiyo. But his calling was bigger than a deacon. Tar waha ko bola or sa deacon manda pani alce mati lo tiyo. God was pushing him into the world. Permissionally, what am I saying? Sansarma, as he dhakali ramu boy kuthiyo. So it is possible for us to do more than one thing for Jesus. Ani yuche ekdam is sabko sa. Hami ne Yeshu Christ ko lagi yuta banda zyada kam aur garnu. Students, I want you to know not to limit yourself. Mat sahan chuki tapale aap lekha simit na banaunos. You cannot only do one thing for Jesus. Tapale kemon yuta matra kam gare ra ek aur baar kosho sabko. You can do many things for Jesus. Tapale koi yu kam aur Yeshu Christ ko lagi garna sabko unsa. Both Stephen and Philip were gifted with many gifts. Ah, Stephenus and Philip, do is an a very important or special subject here. We read about Philip and his role as an evangelist. Hamile just ali bapare pare ko Philip ani wa ko susamachar pracharak ko euta bhumika ko bare ma. The other church leaders saw the gift in his life. Ani aru mandali ka agwa hale pani wa ko jivan ma bhayeko prabhu ko vardan ma dekhnu bhayo. In Acts 21 verse 8, pre 21 ko 8 ma We see that Paul spent time with Philip. I mean, they must have some key power when he Philip sang a song in Bethlehem. The son Luke writes, leaving the next day, we reached Caesarea and we stayed at the house of Philip the Evangelist, 
one of the seven. And yes, we live noon, sir, the Bolivanda, and we live in Pisariama Ayo, Ra, Protara, Philip, Gorma Pasho, Tini, Tishat, Zanamati, Eti, Ramitin Sangabosho. So this Philip is a great man of God. And you, Philip, and a big disappointment of Kamahan Pitunon, sir. What can we learn from Philip about evangelistic ministry? I mean, Philip was even back. I should someone say, Pracharako, Zivan Sayli, my name is Sam Kissing us of Sanga. I want you to see a few phrases in the scriptures. I mean, if other than like a key back and so like the Palidiku by Mozahansu. Maybe it's the clear in English because I'm coming from Canada. Merlagi, I'm from Canada, but I go to English, my Amrish Valley, I'm going to Saji or Lagna Sopla. But I think God will give you understanding in Nepali. Students, I want to share with you today the phrase wherever they went. Can you say that with me? Wherever they went. <laughs> we see this in verses 4 and 5. And you, uh, uh, Puraja Hamile, Char and Ipach, called Mandik Nasakso. I'll read it in English and then Brother Anjan will read it in Nepali. Those who have been scattered preached the word wherever they went. Philip went down to a city in Samaria and proclaimed the Messiah there. <coughs> Saying Acts 8 4 and 5. I often think to myself, what is the difference between evangelist and missionary? A missionary is sent to a foreign place. Missionary after to a particular people. In a particular geography. Oh, but evangelists are a little different. Evangelists are led by the Spirit. They often go from place to place. And they proclaim the good news of Jesus. And so the evangelists we see in the Bible, they have this traveling ministry. Ministry is not in one place. Ministry takes place wherever we go. And so they were not stuck in one place. We noticed that they people were scattered because of persecution. This is not a mission trip. You say they were forced to go. Sometimes there are challenges in our life that cause us to go. Even when we don't want to go. Some people are called missionaries. Everyone is called to be an evangelist. Philip, he has an evangelistic ministry. Philip, and it comes because he's inspired from Acts chapter 1, verse 8. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all of Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. And the Samaritan people, they came from Samaria. Samaria is part of Assyria. Today, if you look at the map, the land is Syria. 
तपाईले आज नि नक्सा पल्टाउनु भयो भने त देख्न सक्नुहुन्छ नक्सामा चाहिँ सिरिया भन्ने देश देखिन्छ दे एक्जिस्टेड बिकज अफ इन्टरमेरिज उनीहरु कसरी अस्तित्वमा आए था छ अन्तरजातीय विवाहको कारणले उनीहरु अस्तित्वमा आए ज्युस पीपल मेरिड अ सिरियन पीपल यहुदीहरुले चाहिँ सिरियाका मानिसहरुलाई विवाह गरे and we find these people in the books of Ezra and Nehemiah ani e vyakti har lai chai hami Ezra a Nehemiah ani Nehemiah ko Nehemiah ko kitab hami dekhna sakchau so we have to think about why Philip is going to these people ani hamle yo chhori bichar garnu parcha kina Philip e thau har ma jandai chha ta there is a difficult relationship between Jews and Gentiles yani ra anya jati haru ra yahudi har ko bich ma ekdamai namile ko sambandha huncha and Jesus wants to go to these uh, unpopular people ani yesu christ aafai pani e kasaile nachine ka pichhadiye ka manishar ko bich ma jana chahanu bhayo in john chapter 4 verse 9 pray yohanna 4 ko 9 ma We read that the Samaritan woman said to him that is Jesus you are a Jew I am a Samaritan how can you ask me for a drink for Jews do not associate with Samaritans And yeah you the Samari istrile waha lai bhanne bhandai chhin waha bhaneko chha Jesus Christ lai tapai yahudi bhayera ma Samari istri ko har bada kasari pani piyunu huncha yahudi haru Samari haru sanga sambandh rakhdaina ta So all the Jews avoided these people. And is sara yehudi hole e pichadi ka manishar lai inkarai garidithe. When Jesus spoke to the Samaritan woman, tara jab Yeshu Christ ki samari istri sanga bolnu bhayo, he was breaking the cultural barriers. Waha le chai euta sanskritik tyo bhram lai todai hununthyo. Jesus is not telling us to evangelize just our people. Yeshu Christ le kebal hamla hamra pari pari ka man parega man parega manchha lai matra susamachar sunaunu bhanera bhaniranu bhayeko thiyena. People who look like us, ani ani jastai dekhine manchhe haru. People who talk like us, ani jastai bolne manchhe haru. He's telling us to go to people who you don't want to go to. Hamile wa le ke bhanne mata tha 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 cha ki hami jaha jaha hamla jane man lagdaina ni jaha aru janaina ni tesla thama ma garu susamachar sunaunu. People who are different from you. Tapai manda bhindai In John chapter four, verse twenty, Yohanna chapter two, verse one, we read, "Our ancestors worshipped on this mountain, but you Jews claim that the place where we we must worship is Jerusalem." The Samaritans still go there, Yohanna. Our Purka Hari yes, Dara ma Aradna gare. Ani tapai yoru bhano, Yohanna. Ki Aradna gare ne istan Jerusalem ho. There are some similarities and difference between these Jews and Samaritans. Yani ra, is Samari haru ra Yehudi haru ma kei kura haru saman chan ra kei kura haru bhinna dal pani chan. The Samaritans only held to Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers and Deuteronomy. Is Samari haru sanga jai kebal utpadi prasthan levi ganti byavastha e byavastha ka pustak har matre thie. They ignored the writings of the prophets and uh Uh, the writings and the prophets ani e samariya ka manche vyakti haru le chai abangkata ka pustak haru ani aru kitab haru lai inkarai garthe unar lai teti avashyakta pardaina thiyo they worship on another mountain waha le euta nischit dana ma gara aradhana garnu thiyo the jews worshiped in jerusalem tara yehudi haru le chai yerusalem ma aara aradhana garthe so when Jesus spoke to the Samaritan woman. Tara sabo Yesu Christ ki samari istri sanga bolne hunu cha. He was breaking some of our theological barriers too. Yesu Christ le aafai le pani tyo saitantik avarodh har lai phutaunde hunu cha. Then in John 4:25 to 26. Ani tyo sekani esa bhasha Yohanna 4 ko 25 ani 26 ma. Finally they agree about something. Ani ab anta ma aera dui paksha euta kura ma aera samjhauta garnu huncha. All this time there were differences in opinion. Ani यो भन्दा अगाडि चाहिँ जहिले पनि भिन्न भिन्न विचारहरु थियो एन्ड द वुमन सेड आई नो दैट मिस आई नो दैट मेसाया कॉल्ड जीसस दैट ऑफ क्राइस्ट इज कमिंग एंड व्हेन ही कम्स ही विल एक्सप्लेन एवरीथिंग टू अस देन जीसस डिक्लेयर आई एम आई द वन स्पीकिंग टू यू आई एम ही इस दिले वाला भनी म जान्दछु कि मसिह आउनु हुन्छ जसलाई क्रिस्ट भनिन्छ र जब उहाँ आउनु हुन्छ तब उहाँले नै हामीलाई सबै कुरा बताउनु हुनेछ यीशु ले तिमीलाई भन्नुभयो तिमीसँग बोल्ने म कोही हुँ द वुमन हैड हर्ड अबाउट जीसस त्यो स्त्रीले यीशु क्रिस्टको बारेमा सुनेकी थिइ बट द वुमन डिड नट नो जीसस तर स्त्रीले यीशुलाई चिनेका चाहिँ थिएन द वुमन हर्ड अबाउट द मेसाया दैट इज स्त्रीले मसिहको बारेमा सुनेकी थिइन बट हियर द मेसाया इज स्टैंडिंग इन फ्रंट अफ हर मसिह अब आमने सामने उसके अगाडि खडा हुनु छ व्हेन दिस वुमन एनकाउंटर जीसस सबै स्त्रीले यी महिलाले यीशु क्रिस्टसँग जम्का भेट गरिन् द गुड न्यूज चेंज्ड 
her life. So much so that her entire community was changed. So Jesus is an evangelist. Because he is preaching his own good news. Let's look again back at Philip. He again is an evangelist preaching the good news of Jesus. He goes to Samaria where no one wants to go. And we must ask ourselves this question. Where is our Samaria? Who is the Samaritan in our life? What is God trying to say to us about evangelism? I believe God is teaching us to be present in the moment. Don't miss the moment God puts in your life. Whether you are born and raised in Nepal, whether you're a refugee in Nepal, God has placed you in this country for a reason. To evangelize these people. And God is going to push you beyond your comfort. Past all the barriers. So that wherever you go, you will preach Christ to a people who need Christ. The second thing I want you to see today are the words close attention. We see this in verses 6 and 7. When the crowds heard Philip and saw the signs he performed, they all paid close attention to what he said. For with shrieks, impure spirits came out of many, and many who were paralyzed or lame were healed. Philip le bhane ka bhajan sunera, ani thin le bhane ka chinnna unde thera. Bhid le ek man ka bhai thin ka kura ma dhyan diye. Kine ke dheere jana bata asuda atma haru thulo asuda chichya unde niskana lage. Ra dheere jana pache ghat ka rogi haru ra longada haru pani niko bari. We do not evangelize to attract people. We evangelize to hold people's attention. Evangelists are entrepreneurs. They are communicators. They are motivators. They represent Jesus in the world. And they tell the story of the gospel. And so evangelists, when God is present, evangelists will receive a good, uh, a good reception. And when evangelists are doing what God has called them to do, many people will be healed, many people will be delivered, and many people will be saved. We need this in our day. We need this in our hour. What were the Samaritans paying close attention to? They were looking at, they were learning about the supernatural in the word. Now, 
We see in Acts chapter 8, verse 27 to 29. This is the next story in chapter 8. We have the Ethiopian uh, person traveling on a chariot. And this man had gone to Jerusalem to worship and on his way home was sitting in his chariot reading the book of Isaiah the prophet and the spirit told Philip go to that chariot and stay there. And I want you to know the Holy Spirit is giving Philip directions. But the Holy Spirit is also working through the Word of God. Philip did not give the scroll of Isaiah to this person. And this person already had the scroll of Isaiah and was reading it. If you're going to be used of the Lord, if we're going to be evangelists, look for that curiosity. We understand that Philip knows God's word. And we see this in Acts chapter 8 verse 34 to 35. And the eunuch asked Philip, tell me please, who is the prophet talking about? Himself or someone else? And then Philip began with that very passage of scripture and told him the good news about Jesus. So the eunuch had the man had the scriptures. But he couldn't understand the scripture. The evangelist brings clarity to the confusion. Philip took time to explain from Isaiah to Jesus. And Philip He did not make it more complicated. He made it simple. This is just one person to another person. Imagine what will take place when there's a group of people. In Acts chapter 8 verse 6, all these people are playing, paying close attention to everything word that is coming out of Philip's mouth. It is not because Philip is a good speaker. It's because Philip is an evangelist. People will not listen to everybody. But people will listen to evangelists who can communicate the word of God. We believe God is speaking through His Word. But then we also see God is speaking through deeds. The evangelistic ministry is accompanied with miracle signs and wonders. When we follow the Great Commission, we must see this evidence. In the Gospel of Mark, Mark 16, verses 17 to 18. This is the Great Commission in Mark. And these signs will accompany those who believe 
In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up snakes with their hands. And when they drink deadly poison, it will not hurt them at all. And they will place their hands on the sick people, and they will get well. विश्वास करें उसने ये चीज़ ना रोने सं, मेरो नाउ मां, तीनों ले बहुत और तपाऊ ने सं, तीनों ले नया भाषा और मां बोलने सं, तीनों ले सौर को और उसे मारने सं, रखूंगे विशालों पूरा भी ये तापनी, कुने एक ही सिमले देश तीनों को हानि करने सही ना, तीनों ले रोगीर मां या अपना हाथ मारने सं, रखूं God will do this. He wants to do this. He will do it to confirm your message. Because the gospel is not just heard. The gospel is experienced. The third thing I want you to know is the words great joy. Great joy. You see this in verse 8. So there was great joy in that city. Evangelistic ministry has the potential to change the entire atmosphere. Do you believe that today? It can change your city. It can change your village. It can even change your family. And so people will experience salvation. People will experience healing through your ministry. And when that happens, they cannot help but be filled with joy. Not a little joy. Great joy. This joy will not disappear. This joy will last. The city will never be the same again. I believe this is how God wants to use you. And this becomes part of our history. The history of our people. The history of that place. That the place has changed because of the, the evangelistic ministry. And so this is why we do not neglect evangelistic ministry. Because without it, your city and my city will be unchanged. It will be a sad place. A place without joy. And so the role of the evangelist is not to stay in a particular place for a long time. I want to encourage you to always keep on moving. Don't just get stuck in one place. Walk from place to place. Bike from place to place. Motorcycle. And move around. When ministry is marked by great joy. It is not for the sake of the evangelist. It's for the people. The evangelist is called to travel. Evangelism is a ministry on the move. When we evangelize, at times we will have to leave our church. Because 
so that our pastors and our teachers can instruct the church. And we leave to reach more people. And then bring them into the church. I want you to see today that Philip did not stay in that Samarian city. Because there was so much great joy, he could have stayed there and enjoyed it. No, he was on a mission. After he baptized the Ethiopian, God suddenly took Philip away. Philip uh, he suddenly disappeared like this in Acts 8.39. I think we all want to experience that. All of a sudden we're somebody else. Oh, that's somebody why did that happen? Because of the mission of God. It's hard for us to understand. But God transported Philip from one place to another place. Because that's how important and urgent the mission is. God, God's priority is evangelistic ministry. And this joy is not just for the Samaritans in that city. More people need to experience this great joy. In Acts 8 chapter, uh, Acts, Acts chapter 8 verse 40. Philip, however, appeared at Astus and traveled about, preaching the gospel in all the towns until he reached Caesarea. Now, I know this observation is not in the text. But I believe that when Philip went to Astos and these other towns, as he preached the gospel, as he evangelized in those places, they also were filled with great joy. When we come into our city, when we minister in our village, may we never leave the same way. May the place be changed. May God transform our cities. And may there be great joy in our districts. I'm believing with you. With all the pastors in this room, that God is raising a new generation of evangelists. That is the heart of Jesus. That's why you came to the school. And as you go from this place, the Lord will bring, use you to bring great joy. Not just in Nepal, not just in India, around the whole world. Amen. Amen. As we come to a close, we are called to evangelize our world. To the graduating class of Heart of Jesus Bible School. Uh, heart of Jesus Bible School part of the I commit to you the same biblical charge. 
that the Apostle Paul gave to Timothy. Would you raise your hand, students, and receive it today? But you keep your head in all situations. Endure hardship. Do the work of an evangelist. And discharge all the duties of your ministry. Second Timothy chapter four, verse five. Those who Timothy declare it over that. Those who Timothy four, five, ma, mata para mati esai kosh na garne soita. Tini chai, tini or sabi chana. Dori la hau, kosto hoga, prachar prachar ko kam gora, ratimro siwa ko kam pura gora. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you receive it today? Kita mati esai ni tum chaza. Do the work of the evangelist. As you go from this place, oh, we're expecting to hear great news. We will hear the testimonies. We will see the fruit through your ministry. Oh, and the Lord will expand His kingdom. He's going to use each and every one of you. To change your city, to change your village, for the glory of God. And all the people of God said, Amen. 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 God bless you.